Okay, I want to keep this video short so I'll get straight into it. Um, I've got a sack full of wheels scrounged from office chairs and they typically have this sort of um, push into a plastic uh, moulding mounting system which is great but not terribly useful if you want to reuse the wheel for something else. So in this video I'm going to show you how I convert that um, plain spindle to a threaded one. Okay, so getting these stub axles out of the wheel body is simple enough. You just have to lever them out, they just push in. And I found the easiest way to do it. I happen to have this uh, fairly useful looking claw thing. It's actually part of a tire bead breaker. But anyway, um, as you see, it makes pretty short work of pulling those off. Let's clean this guy up a bit. Okay, so what we can see is this piece, uh, perhaps you can see, is uh, about 11 millimeters. So that's ample meat to turn down and put a, a 3 8 um, I think 16 TPI, anyway, 3 8 UNC or BSW thread on that. But first thing, we have to get this, uh, little, this little spring clip here, which I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see it clearly enough there, this little spring thing, so we've got to, got to get rid of that. And I'm sure there's many number of ways, any number of ways to do it, but this is how I choose to do it. A pair of uh, circlet pliers, just because they're convenient. I'll put the points there. And just give it a tap with the hammer. And the clip's gone. Alright, so next step is going to be to uh, take it over to the milling machine and turn this round raised piece uh, into a hexagon. So we've got something to get hold of with the spanner. And we need that for assembly later on, but also so that when we're turning the thread on this shank here, we've got something to get hold of because you can get much friction on a thing that size. So you could put the two flats would be enough, you do it with a file, but I'm going to put it in the milling machine and put six flats on. So I've got to clean the burrs off, but um, you see the spanner fits on there nicely. And you can see that's uh, going to get the job done. So we'll clean those up and then over to the lathe and turn this down and put the thread on it. Okay, well we'll start by putting a, a centre in the end. I don't need it for um, bringing this to size, uh, but it will be useful later, I think, as you'll see. We're on 1300 RPM, so... Uh, <clears throat> Off we go. Right, let's get the diameter down. I'm trying to persevere with the chuck guard, even though it's <laughs> like most safety things. It actually gets in the way, it isn't terribly helpful, but anyway. Give it a what do you call it a <laughs> a stress relief cut. There's a word for it. I forget what it is. So we'll do it again. Spring pass. That's what I was looking for. Let's go it again at nine point five. Right. 
and it's gone slightly under now. Now, nine point four eight eight is pretty close. Certainly close enough for what I'm trying to do. I just wanted a diameter that was right for putting a 3 8 thread on. So that'll do for that. So <clears throat> I made four of these and all of them came out pretty close, but this one was a bit special, so I thought I'd just share this one with you. I was aiming for 9.5. I don't know whether you can see that, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So now put a chamfer on the end here. Now, I set my uh, I set my chuck backstop up earlier. to um, support the, the back end of this so that the, the tapping operation doesn't push it into the back of the chuck and uh, beyond. And just do that loosely for a moment and uh, bring up that tail stock Don't need the centering drill, what we want is the center. So this is just to help make sure I've got the thing correctly aligned. And just loosen that off a bit. Looks like it was actually pretty good. I'll just nip that up. Put this back out of the way and we should be good to go. Let's see how true that looks like it's running. That's going to be good enough for this. Some of this green triple X goop on there. Right, Let's switch over to super slow mode. It is about 20 RPM here. Taken off now. So we'll just uh, back it a, a little bit. And then go forward some more. Well, that's one done. Okay, so the final step a little bit of um, non staining um, grease, handy lube, whatever you want to call it. And these things just tap back in, oh, just out of range. There we go, we just come back in range. Simple as that. And that completes my set of uh, four wheels for the next trolley I'm wanting to make. Um, it's out of scope for this video, but it's just a, a trolley for storing uh, things like this. A uh, big tray of these things, sort of um, bar ends. 
Anyway, hopefully that was a useful explanation of how I uh, convert these things to a threaded stub uh, to make them easy to reuse. Cheers.